Well, hello, my friends. Today I want to talk to you about a very simple way to create a custom template for sending out to your email list on Aweber. Um, I've always you know, enjoyed getting emails from people that have a little bit uh, nicer look to them instead of just the plain, uh, you know, everyday marketer sort of look to it. So today I'm going to show you a very simple process for how you can create a template that they, then you can use over and over again in your Aweber emails. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log in to your Aweber account. And then the next step is going to be to go to over to Messages and click on Broadcast. Once you're there, what we're going to do is create a, create a broadcast message. Now what you will see here is essentially it's a blank form and you've got two sections here. One is your HTML and which uh, and then the section below that is the plain text message. We're going to use the HTML up above here and what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to just show you a simple example. I'm going to take uh, the header from my WordPress blog and I'm going to paste it into my email, uh, my a Aweber email. Okay, so I'm going to go to my WordPress, log in to the back office, and then I'm going to go down here and look for header image. And once I have the header image here, so based on what I've got here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the image and I'm going to copy the image location. And then what I'm going to do is go back to my Aweber broadcast here, or Aweber broadcast message, and I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to click on insert and edit image, this little icon, and it's going to bring up this little form here. Down where it says URL, I'm going to paste the image location, and the width of my emails is about 600 pixels, so I'm going to make that 600, and I'm going to click on Insert. And there we now we have the image pasted into the HTML. So there we go. Now we have our header pasted into the email. I'm just going to you know click here, and if you would like to start off your emails with the same message, you can put whatever that would be. Um, then the next thing that I would do here would be to just, you know, to go down below and put in um, whatever um, sign off you like to use. If you want to use a picture of, uh, of down at the bottom, you can do the same thing to paste a picture in down there. But once you have that accomplished, then just go ahead and save your message. Oh, it's going to ask you for a subject line. So in the subject line, what I recommend is to type in template. And then save your message. Scroll down to the bottom. Click on Save Message. And now you have a custom template that you can, anytime you want to, you can just come into Messages, go to Broadcast, OK? And then you can click on the, your template, whichever one, but just create a copy of your template. Okay, and there you, there you are. You have your template already saved, and you're just going to change the subject line um, and put in your message. You've got a brand new email, but you've got everything, um, you know, all of the images, everything you want. You have a customized template for you to use whenever you like and then you're just going to save your message under a different name as your new one so whenever you go back there um, <clears throat> when you go back to your broadcast messages your templates are going to be just saved there for you so you are all set um, it couldn't get much simpler than that I hope this has been helpful to you and now you'll be able to send out custom emails to your list whenever you like so thank you for joining me today, and I hope you got some value out of this. Have a great day.